Fellas, construction is busted. It is crazy how useful having a fully upgraded POH is. Back in my day, the POH was just a gold sink. It had no use. But in the modern age of old school, we've got a lot to talk about. Your POH will go through stages. At first, you'll buy the POH just to have. You'll want it so you can do daddy's home and unlock mahogany homes. But also when you own a house, you can now get construction XP at Wintertot and Temporos. But as you progress, you'll start to see the full utility of an upgraded POH. Before we talk about rooms and their utility, let's talk about the efficient layout. The POH is weird. You want your POH to be 3x3 three three or even 4x4. Four four. The load time is determined by the length and width, followed by the floors up and down. So shrinking the size and removing your upstairs and dungeon actually makes your POH load faster and saves you time. It's nothing crazy, maybe a few ticks here and there, but if you think about how many times you go to your POH, this time save adds up to hours over the course of your playtime. Your POH will eventually become a hub for gameplay. Want to do a boss? Tell you to your POH and go to the boss. Just kill the boss and need to heal? Go to your POH and heal. Doing a clue scroll? Go to the POH and tell you where you need to go. But to get to this point, we need to get to the juicy part of this video and talk about rooms in your house. The first major unlock you get is the quest hall. And this room doesn't seem that crazy on its face. And to be honest, it's really not. But it does give you early access to a mounted glory and a mounted mythical cape at 47 construction. And this gives you unlimited teleports, which is very nice. It becomes such a hassle having to maintain charged jewelry that every time you get the chance to get an unlimited option, you should really take it. At level 42, you get the costume room. This room is mainly incredible for Ultimate Iron Man. It basically works as a faux bank for a few important sets of armor and skilling outfits, but as a main, you're also able to store all these same items and save a ton of bank space if you really need it. At level 45, you get the chapel. This room is really great, especially for Iron Man if you can't access other players' houses for prayer training when avoiding the wilderness, but it's also great on a main account when you have lower level construction since you can restore your prayer here before you're able to build a pool, so it's pretty nice to have early on. At level 50 though, you get one of the best quality of life unlocks you could ever dream of, the portal chamber. This room is so important until you get a nexus because it gives you access to the entire game with one singular teleport. My recommendation for your first portal room is to get one portal to the Salve Graveyard. This is the fastest teleport to a fairy ring. A Barrows teleport if you can, and the third is up to you. Just pick a teleport that you use frequently. A portal to Seer's Village if you have the Candor and Hard Diary done is great for a bank. And a portal to Catherby is great for your herb or tree run. It's really up to you. It's personal preference. At level 65, you get the best room in the POH. It's so good that you need two of them. It's the Superior Garden. This room is busted. Every single great quality of life feature you could have ever dreamed of as a kid is in this room. The only downside is that even though you unlock it at 65, it doesn't really become busted until 85. At 85, you can get a fairy ring right there. Teleport your house and you're instantly at a fairy ring. This saves so much time. Even having a portal that goes to the Salve Graveyard is not comparable to the amount of time you'll save. And you can forget about the Arty Cloak because this is incredible. It's impossible for me to even think about how much time I've saved with this. I use this constantly. It's incalculable the amount of time saved. And it gets even better at 95, which is a very steep requirement, I'll give you that. But you can now make a Fairy Ring Spirit Tree combo. But still in the same room, at 85, you can boost to 90 to build the Ornate Pool. This thing is insane. This is a full heal to your health, special attack, prayer, and any sort of ailment like poison or venom. It is so good. This is another thing that you can have access to outside of the POH, like a fairy ring, but this one is at Ferrex Enclave. I want you to think about how long it takes you to teleport there and run to the pool. And also think about the amount of dueling rings you need to use to do this. The quality of life and overall time save from this room is incredible. I mentioned at the start that you'll want two superior gardens, and that's so you can get a wilderness obelisk in the second one. This one is not really needed until you're in a position where you're doing wilderness content, but it is great for clues, KBD, prayer training at the Chaos Altar, and a bunch of other small things. At level 72, you get the Portal Nexus, and my god, I love this thing. It is so good, bro. This works the same way as a portal chamber, but it can basically hold every teleport in the game. Not every single one, but a lot of them. I mean, like, look at them all. 
All of these teleports with a one-time payment accessible from inside the POH. It is fantastic. This room would already be great with just a Nexus, but you can also mount a dig site pendant here, which is great for getting to Fossil Island for birdhouse runs, the dig site, and the Lithgren vault for rune and adamant dragons. On top of that, you can also mount a Xerix talisman to get all around Zaya. The reason why mounted amulets are so good is because when you mount them, you get unlimited charges. You no longer need to worry about keeping enough dig site pendants or lizard fangs in the bank. I love it. It's great quality of life. And finally, what might be my favorite and most used room aside from the ornate pool is the achievement gallery at level 80. In here, you can build an occult altar, which is fantastic. I know you hate running through the pyramid to get on agents. It's okay. You can admit it. Being able to switch your spellbook in the POH is amazing. I love this so much. I use this every single time I'm headed to a boss or a raid. I set up my room pouch, tell you to my POH, change to my spellbook that I want, and then I'm already in the POH so I can use whatever teleport I need to get to the boss. But the best part of this room is the jewelry box. This thing is fantastic, bro. It gives you dueling rings, games necklaces, skills necklaces, combat bracelets, amulets of glory, and Ring of Wealth teleports in one place. And it's an unlimited amount. This is the nicest quality of life for 26 niche teleports that you don't even know you need until you need them. In my opinion, to get your house to a very good spot, you want to rush at least a basic portal nexus at 72, a mounted Xerix amulet at 72, a dark altar at 80 construction, a basic jewelry box at 81, a fancy rejuvenation pool at 85, and a fairy ring at 85. With these, getting around the game gets so much better. It's almost hard to put into words how big this quality of life is. I can't really explain it, but once you experience it yourself, you'll be like, damn, that no leather guy was right, on God, for real, for real, no cap. Was that too much? <laughs> Sorry. Also, as a reminder, construction is one of the most easily boosted skills in the entire game. You can use T's in the POH, the Crystal Saw, and Stew Boost. And one thing to note is that the Crystal Saw does stack with other visible boosts. If you're boosted from 75 to 80 construction, a plus five, a plus five visible boost. You'll actually be boosted to 83 if you have the Crystal Saw. The only thing I think this doesn't work for is the Fairy Rings and the Spirit Trees because you cannot boost your farming level as well. It's very weird, but you'll figure it out. And this might be one of the only skills I don't recommend boosting for. Getting 99, although expensive, gives you the best skill cape in the game. Like, bar none, it is the best. It gives you unlimited teleports to your POH in every single POH portal around the game. This will save you money long term. In the short term, it's going to cost you a bunch. But never having to worry about getting runes or teleport tabs to the POH is fan. Fantastic. Because once your POH is set up, you have a teleport to every single location in the game. And having unlimited teleports there means you have unlimited teleports everywhere. Construction is the most important skill to a main account. Arguably true, arguably not true. I'd probably still put prayer and magic above it. But if you are in a position where you can level up your construction and get some of these, I cannot recommend it more. Thank you to my channel members, DTech, Dino, and Snacks. I appreciate your continued support. I do want to say, if you don't think your account is progressed enough to tackle some of these goals, there's a video on screen now to show you some mid-game goals you can tackle on your way there. I've got nothing left to say, so I'll see you in the next one.